636 now, the Betsy Ross House in Philadelphia is helping to celebrate Women's History Month. Well, throughout March, the historic spot is going to feature some new and interactive programming, including the chance to participate in a hands-on sewing lesson from Betsy herself. This could be lovely for Waukesha out there. I think she's going to give it a try. Well, that's where we can find her live this morning to tell us more about what's happening there. Good morning, Waukesha. Good morning, Natasha. Now, you know, I've had such a blast here at the Betsy Ross House, <laughs> even at this early hour. But joining us to talk about all the great things that they have during Women's History Month is Elisa Mulder, who is the director, um, executive director here of the house. So can you kind of explain just some of the things you guys have going on this month? Yeah, so, of course, we're celebrating women this month. Well, every day at the Betsy <laughs> Ross House, particularly this month, though, um, with a special program this weekend, you have a unique opportunity to get a sewing lesson from Betsy and her daughter, Claire. Clarissa. And speaking of Clarissa, we have Clarissa here. Good morning, Clarissa. Good day. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about what you're making? Yes. So I am making lavender sachets, which are very easy to make. Uh, those who wish to make a lavender sachet will learn two basic stitches, the back stitch and the running stitch. And then you're going to fill it. You'll fill the sachet. Yes, okay. the sachet will be filled with lavender very carefully. And this is what it would look like. That's the finished sachet. So when would someone use this? Uh, well, I'm told in your time one might put it in a drawer if one wishes to make it smell nicer. Uh, you could also carry it with you. Um, it's While we're walking down the street in Philadelphia. Precisely, as to not smell the smells of the city and instead <laughs> enjoy your lavender. And we cannot not talk to Betsy Ross herself. Good morning, Betsy. And good day to thee. How pleased I am. Are they ready to sew? Yeah, well, I would love to sew, Betsy, but um, do you think I can sew with my nails? Oh my gracious. Uh, my dear Clarissa, I believe that these will be much better as creasers. Creasers? Uh, yes, yes, to open a seam um, and make sure that it lies as flat as can be. Look, look, find a creaser here. Show her. Yes. Oh, I guess that does kind of look like the shape of my nail. <laughs> It really does. <laughs> and perhaps you would be better at that task of opening seams. Uh, so, Betsy, do you have a very busy day today? I do indeed. I am preparing slip cases that will be sewn for those who will come to visit me on Saturday. And of course, the slip cases will go on top of a chair. And I will be teaching how to do an overcasting. Mm, that might be all right with that, with those nails. I think that they might work. And you know, Betsy, I mean, we have to go. I wanted to spend a lot more time with you, but I do, because this is Women's History Month, do you have any advice for the women of today? Oh, I would hope that women would take the examples that my daughter Clarissa and I have and not to be afraid to make their own path, whether it be in business or whether it be with being a mother or a family or whether blending the two together. A woman, she has choices and she can make those choices on her own without a man. Well, thank you very much. And I think we're going to end this portion of this segment here at the Betsy Ross House with that advice. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. That's some great advice. <laughs> I'm going to take heed to that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so when do you have Betsy Ross on live TV dishing out life advice? <laughs> Exactly. We have everything here at CBS News Philadelphia. Yeah. Rakesha. And only if you could imagine everything she was saying off the camera. And you guys, I gotta cut my nails. I can't even sew. She can be I a creaser. You can be a creaser. You oh, get your purpose, Rakesha. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. All right, Rakesha, Betsy, and Clarissa, thank you so much.